so I thought I'd try another video. You notice we've changed wardrobe. I'm wearing my Miami Dolphins orange and blue for some reason. Um, and as you can see, I'm holding the guitar, which is actually heavier than two drum heads. So, you know, that goes out to my ex-band. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd take this time to go through some of the other sounds that I use. I've done a video that was cut off because of time. So, some of the sounds I like to use, I'm going to go ahead and let you know, you know, I've got my Keeley compressor on, and I'm setting my delay for a tap tempo time, and this video I'm actually using my number one Strat, which is loaded with the EMG Steve Lukather setup, which is probably my favorite EMG setup besides Telecaster pickups. Um, so, 93, uh, Mexican made, rumor has it that these were actually American made, but, uh, so anyway, I'm going to tap the tempo up, and uh, standard kind of country sound. Put the light up, so. And once again, just by slowing down the tap tempo, and kicking on the Keeley 30 millisecond double tracker, which is just an awesome, awesome, awesome um, delay, chorus, slapback type unit. Um, I can get that LA kind of. Nice for swells. Or that Lukather thing. sound if I kick the Keeley phase 2-4 in. I can also go for that Andy Summers sort of uh The guitar sounds a little bit out of tune. Because it's humid and it's hot here in North Carolina. And I have a tuner right here, so if you'll give me a second, I can get that E string kind of back where it needs to be. And once again, um, another thing I like to do is, is for the Lukather sound and stuff, I'll kick on the 62X with a little more gain on it. Uh, kick the Aurora Reverb on because I like a lot of effects. I like a lot of, you know, just on there when it needs to be but not and that's the thing about Keeley is it gives you the effects but it doesn't really cover your guitar tone up <laughs> kick that off and then maybe go for that 80s kind of thing as well with the chorus and the delay and here's one from my buddy Eric Brittingham. So I mean a lot of that's my kind of go-to sounds with the Keeley stuff. I can kick off the, the 30 millisecond and just put the red dirt on with some echo as well. said earlier, the Red Dirt's probably one of my favorite overdrive pedals, as well as the 62X, because it gives me that Marshall sound without actually having to play a Marshall, because I really prefer the Agnator. The, uh, I'm using the Tweaker, like I said, the Tweaker 15 head, and the Agnator cabinet, and I replaced the Anniversary Celestion with the Pete Anderson Hemcone Eminence. Thank you, Pete, for coming up with such a brilliant speaker. You are the man. Um, a buddy of mine, uh, John Gilligan, asked me, you know, when are you going to do some making on one of them videos? So, John, just for you, buddy, I'm going to kick on the 62X, I'm going to kick on the uh, 30 millisecond, and uh, <laughs> Another cool 
cool thing about this is if I kick that off and turn the phaser on, go back to the red dirt, I get a really nice Alex Lifeson sort of... <laughs> There's really nothing that the, that the pedals that I have can't can't pull off. The uh, the Keeley stuff is just amazingly awesome. While we're in that Alex Lifeson kind of uh, frame of mind, let's go ahead and uh, so. Really, for me, it's a very simple setup. All the pedals sound great. I've never played anything that, that Robert's made that sounded bad. Awesome staff he's got. You can call, you can talk to them. They call you back. Um, and Robert himself, he and I have had several conversations. I look forward to meeting him in Oklahoma sometime because I just I want to eat his cooking because it looks good. Something else I've not talked about is the actual pedal board it's on, which is built by Ivan Pierce at Keeley Custom Cases. Uh, when I've got it hooked up properly, it backlights in purple. And from what Ivan told me, it's the only one that backlights in purple. Plus, I've got two ins and outs that are the Nutrix speaker connections on it. And it's just, it's it's been a great pedal board. The Keeley pedals themselves give me the sounds I'm looking for. The Agnator is just an amazing amp. And I can't say enough about EMG, which I've endorsed for years on the Luca there. So if you've got any questions, feel free to just hit me up here on Facebook. Um, and just keep picking and everybody being rock stars. <laughs>